What's going on guys? My name is Leo Rydell. Welcome back to Geekly Goods where we talk the latest in movies, TV shows, and a sprinkle of anime and gaming guys. So be sure to hit that subscribe button if you like the latest in those topics. And let's talk about Lovecraft Country Episode 3 everybody. Whew. And let me tell y'all, 2 had me a little feeling a little so-so but... Three has reeled me right back in, everybody. I am so excited to talk about this episode, guys. I really, really enjoyed this episode. So I just want to start off by saying Journey Smollett. Oh my God, what a performance in this episode. She is an incredible actress who literally can attract anything to herself. And this episode is a great display of those skills. We get to see Letty in a much different light here. Well, not really a different light, but we get to see Letty really shine in this episode. This is Letty's episode, guys. Now, picking up from the last episode, unfortunately, I want to just go ahead and say this now. Spoiler, spoiler, Uncle has passed on. And we know what happened in episode two. He was killed. So the funeral, we, we pick up right after the funeral happened or a little bit after the funeral happened. So it's been a little while since Letty and Tick have seen each other. But wow, what we get in this episode when Letty like actually purchases her own home is crazy. We get this haunted house vibe. And see, I'm starting to see different genres per episode and kind of see that they're playing off of different movies and things like that. This feels very much like a mix of murder mystery and haunted house, and I absolutely adored this episode. I loved it. I liked the themes in this episode. Of course, love Journey Small at Bell. I'm trying to stay away from spoilers, but she has some crazy good moments in this episode, and we get some great gospel music in this episode that very much matches the scene that it's placed in so I love the music in this episode and I love the themes in this episode as well you know I was talking in my first review of this series in episode one and I was talking about the duality of horror that you have this extraterrestrial horror of aliens and and you know undead and things like that and then you've got the realistic horror in racism and prejudice in the times and in this one we get that realistic horror back we return back to that racist horror that we had in the first episode and it explores that a lot more while giving us a little bit of that extraterrestrial just like the first episode did you know we got a lot of the real horror in the first episode and I think that we get a lot Lot of it in this episode as well there are people who racists who end up like putting a brick on a car horn just to cause disturbance in the neighborhood because letty moves into a new home like a huge home with 12 different rooms in a mostly white neighborhood and of course they don't like that so they're there to disturb they're there to hurt to harm and of course this time Little spoiler, Letty fights back a little bit. So I love getting to see her moment. And we get another great moment in this episode too. But there, the house is not just a plain house. It is haunted. There are people who were killed in that home. And so Letty has to kind of figure out who they were and what happened. And it's very fun to explore this episode. I like journey in this episode she's incredible i mean look don't get me wrong jonathan major's great but he kind of took a back seat this episode and i didn't find myself too upset about that i love journey smollett's character leticia she's amazing she's got this great headstrong attitude and she buys this home to house black people who are facing struggles and who are having pay struggles and money struggles and financial struggles. She is there to be this guiding light for them. And I absolutely love that about her character. Really like this episode. You know, the last one felt very jumbled, whereas this one feels very cohesive and it feels centered on Letty's new house and exploring the mystery and murders behind that. Like this episode because it does feel very tight. Like, unlike the last episode, episode which we got all these different reveals with Tick and he's a Braithwaite and all these different things and we do see a little bit of that in this episode but it's so small that it works and it just really is a kind of an extra detail towards the end of the episode but I like this episode I feel like it is very well contained within itself because 
Like I was saying, that last episode was just all over the place. But this one, we kind of come back to that tight storytelling. We get the realistic horror a lot more than we did last episode. And we get a little bit of that extraterrestrial horror as well. And there's one scene towards the end where you just... All I gotta say is a circle of hands fighting against racism. It is incredible. Like, incredible what that scene meant to the story. I just absolutely loved it, everybody. And you guys let me know what you thought about this episode of Lovecraft Country. Do you think it was better than episode two? Do you think it was as good as episode one? I'm still thinking episode one is still the strongest one, but this was a really good episode, and I think it was stronger than that second one and had better, tighter storytelling. Uh, of course, Journey Smollett Bell shined in this episode, so I like this episode a lot, guys. And you let me know your thoughts and predictions for next week's episode. What do you think is going to happen? Where do you think the story is going? What do you think is going to happen with Michael K. Williams' character? Guys, let me know down in the comments, and we will see you next time.